G'day YouTube, Four Nines Fine Silver here. Today's project is going to be a good one. It's going to be the Legend of Zelda Master Sword. So if you'd like to see me sand casting that, then let's get into it. Okay guys, here it is. The Legend of Zelda Master Sword. Now, the printer hasn't been very kind to me today. I printed it like four times to try and get it nice, but it keeps leaving these little ridges over it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it in pewter first so that I can sand it, and then we'll make it into uh, silver after that. At the same time, I think I'm gonna make the base, but I'm gonna make the base out of copper, so that'll come later on in the, in the video. Okay, what I need to do because I'm gonna sand it away. I need to make the sword, just the blade, a little bit thicker. So I'll hold it down, put a little bit of pressure on there, just to make that blade a little bit thicker. Now that I've done that, take it out. Looking pretty good. I'll do the same thing on this side. Put a little bit of extra pressure on there just to give it a little bit of thickness. Just go and give it a wash off and I'll bring it back. Alright guys, here it is. Now it's a little rough, but it's not too bad. All those little ridges that I was telling you about are still there. I'll cut off the sprue. And now I'll give it a touch up on the on the brush and give it a bit of a grind and see how good we can get it. Pretty good. 
give it a rub over with the file just gently try and get a bit of an edge happening on it at the same time I'll do that for a little while I'll get back to you and then after that I'll give it a rub over with some sandpaper to try and get it nice and smooth Right, I think we're just about ready to uh, get it ready for some silver. So what I'll do is I'll make the mould up quickly and I'll get you back. And there it is, I'll put the sprue in there and we'll get some silver organised. So I'll put this back together. Alright, I've got some silver in the crucible. I'll just get that prepared and I'll get you back on. and give it a wash off. Looks great. Put it back in a sec. Alright guys, there it is. Got a little bit of flashing on the side just over here. Need to sharpen up that edge. But pretty good. I'll cut off the sprue, clean it all up. I'll bring it in and show you. Okay guys, hang on a minute. Okay guys, before I show you the sword, I've got to make the base. So let's get that done quickly. I've got the base here. The only thing is it didn't make the hole big enough to fit the sword in, so I've got this stick. And this piece of wood I'm gonna fit into the sand mold and make it, uh, and make it fit. So we'll get that in here. it over give it a bit of a hose off I'll be back in a second all right guys here it is a little bit of a uh, flashing there it's got its logo which is good so the sprue is going to come off I'll clean it up I'll put it with the sword and I'll show you what it looks like all right guys see you in a minute okay there it is guys the Legend of Zelda Master Sword. Come up pretty good. I'm not overly happy that I didn't get the logo, but uh, it's pretty tough to do with a sand cast. But, all considering, I reckon it's going to make a fantastic letter opener. 
and uh, stay tuned because um, my next video is going to be an awesome one. It's going to be the sword from World of Warcraft and it's going to be the Frost Moor with a little goat's head on it. Man, you should see that. It's going to be great. Okay, guys, catch you on the next one.